Cobb County, Georgia, we welcome you to baseball from Truist Park. Tonight, it's an NL Eastern Division showdown between the Philadelphia Phillies and the Atlanta Braves. It's Braves baseball next. Max Freed gets the call for game one of the series. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, Matt, we'll get a look at a guy that's really been struggling lately. In his last three starts, he has a whip of over 1.50. Lots of base runners, lots of hits, and lots of walks. And that doesn't add up to very good performances. So he's going to look to turn things around in this one here today. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Andrew McCutcheon is in to start things off as he looks at a ball to start the inning 1-0. Oh. Now boys these Braves as they take the field here tonight. It was another loss for him last time out and that makes them 2-8 and eight over their last 10 games. It only looks like a situation where somebody's going to have to call a team meeting. I don't know if it comes from a veteran or the manager decides to close the doors for a second. But this team has not played well. They find themselves losing lately. They lost the last game. And they're going to need a spark to get this thing turned around. His prior history versus this arm. He's a 300 hitter, 3 for 10. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Acuna is there for it. Makes the play, one away. Batting second. The first baseman, number seven. So one out and nobody Reese. aboard. And that'll bring Hoskins. up Reese Hoskins. first offering and he's way off balance with the swing there you have to find a way to lay off that low sinker there is just no way to do any damage you're just looking at either a bruise shin or a ground out to the left side one out nobody on That misses says the home plate umpire one and two where it misses I'm not quite sure And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Well, I have to give credit to him on the mound for not letting that previous pitch that get to him. He wanted the it, right but he didn't get the call. But I love nice. how he didn't let it affect him. Perfect. And he comes right back with another good pitch and gets the punch out. Bryce Harper is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. Hey, not too often we see this hitter come outside his game plan, outside the zone. But that pitch was just so tempting. One strike pitch is a fastball high, and that evens things at one. And there's ball two now. What we're seeing here is a guy getting pitched to very carefully. It doesn't matter that there's two outs and nobody on. He's a threat to score even when he's standing in the batter's box. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. This is where you cash your checks right here. 3-1, you're one of the best hitters in the game. You live for situations like this. And we'll have the first base runner of the ball game here as that misses, and it's a two-out walk. Batting four, the catcher, JT 
Now to the plate, JT Real Muto. In his career versus this pitcher, he's a 348 batter. Two of those hits were for home runs. A changeup floats outside here for ball one. Hoping to discourage a steal attempt with the slide step here. Yeah, that's a good way of trying to control the running game, Matt. The problem with it, though, it has a tendency to throw your command off because you're worrying about that runner on base. Count is one and two now. Had to be sitting something hard right there because he gave up on that pitch, but it was right down the chute. Here comes the one two. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off speed pitch in the dirt. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. One left for Philadelphia. It's the Phillies nothing. Braves coming up. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Zach Eflin gets the ball for Philadelphia in this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, one of the things this guy does really well, neutralize the left-handed hitters. On the season, lefties are hitting under 250 against this guy. So whatever he's doing against lefties, it certainly works. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ozzie Albies. It'll leave things off here three. in the bottom half of the first. The second baseman, Ozzie. Just able Aldi. to get a piece of that for strike one. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. And it's fouled away. And he wastes a fastball high there, one and two. Hey, textbook waste pitch right there. Does he go elevated fastball again or something slow below the zone? And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the that strike out there. Yeah, Matt, right that's field. the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force it's hitters to dead. expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. These Phillies, as they enter play here tonight, fellas, they come in playing well. Six and three over the last nine ball games, including a victory last time out. Yeah, Matty, five and two on their recent homestand. Last week of ball games, they've played just really nice baseball, all facets, found ways good. to win late, found the ways to baseball. bash teams to death, Ready. pitched well. Let's see if Three the start man. of this road trip halts their momentum a little bit. Quinn is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Acuna digs in now, cool. and you can see great fielder. numbers over the Bravo. past few games. Acuna. First pitch Junior. is a slider down low. It's 1-0. Inciarte, the runner at first with two gone. Into the corner and slicing foul. Good pitch on the black. That was the sinker for a strike. Swing and a miss, and that's out number three. One left for Atlanta. Still no score. Ball set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring up Alec Bohm. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Boom. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Freed has a reputation or a knack, if you will, for working himself out of tough situations when he finds himself there. A lot of relief pitchers are known for that, obviously, but as a starter, that's certainly a valuable characteristic to have. Matty Dean, I'm going to tell you who likes this. The bullpen likes it, and the manager likes this, because most pitchers are going to get into trouble at least one or two times during the course of a start, and it's nice to know as a manager that you have a guy that's out there that can pitch with men on base and wiggle out of some tough jams. This guy's made a living doing this in his career. Here now the 2-2. High in the air down the right field line. Inciarte is over near the stands as he makes the catch for the first down. That is it. The second base. Now at the plate here is Cesar Hernandez. Lifetime versus this arm. He's hitless in six tries. 
in tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. And they won't get him to chase the curveball in the dirt that time, and it's 2 0 now. Two balls and a strike to Cesar Hernandez. That fastball was a lively one. You could hear the pop of the glove all the way up here. Hey, I admit I'm a little biased. There's nothing better than that pop of a glove on a good fastball. Looking forward to hearing a lot more of that pop the rest of this one. Popped him up. Darno shading to his right. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. So two out, nobody on. And up next, the infielder slash utility man, Ronald Torres. 0-1 the count. No score here as we play inning number two. And he misses with it one and one. Liner toward right center. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. Just an unbelievable piece of hitting right there. Staying on the inner half of that baseball right there. Staying to it and through it. Not coming around it and able to drive it the other way for a base hit. At the plate now, Roman Quinn. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. A one pitch on its way. And he fouls this one off. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. And he'll try to get him to chase the fastball there, but he lays off. One and two. From the stretch. Fouled off. Now another one two fouled away. Again another foul ball. Another foul ball, and this battle will continue. Making him work out there. The ninth pitch of the at-bat coming up. Inside and a hair low. It's two balls and two strikes. Tough to take a pitch like that right there, especially in a one-two count. You almost get in that auto swing mode. Great job to work the count back to even. Full count now. Now the three and two pitch and he misses here for ball four already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work man as a pitcher I can tell you that is so frustrating he's got two outs and he wants to get that third out as quickly and painlessly as possible but that hitter makes him work his tail off and he still loses him. So next to the plate for the Phils, Zach Eflin. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. First pitch on the way. Perfect time for a mound visit right here. Just to give him a breather, a chance to collect himself and get back to work. Torres over at second. Quinn at first, two out in the inning. One and one. That's a great sinker right there. These batters are going to have to bear down because if he's got that good pitch working, it's going to be a long game. They might have to sit off speed. Fastball. Close, but he didn't get it. Two and one.
The set and the two and one. High and deep down the left field line. This one misses, and that'll fill the count here. Three and two with two away. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. And this is swung on and missed as the 30th pitch of this inning finally does the trick. The side is retired. Phillies leave a couple. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And up next, Leading the catcher, up, Travis the Darno. The catcher, Travis Darno. And now the first pitch. Hard on the ground towards short. And a base hit. So early trouble to lead off the inning. Nice execution right there. Ball was down below the knees. He stayed through it and was a able to drive it for a base hit. Austin. He's set. Here it comes. Riley. Austin Riley stands in as he swings and misses for strike one. Well, he kind of tipped his hand right there. His approach is obviously sitting on the off speed because he was so late on that first pitch heater. And it's fouled away. A runner at first with no outs here. Pulled high in the air out to left field. McCutcheon is under it. He's got it one away. That is seven. And next will be Dansby Swanson digging Dan in. Head to head at the start of play Swanson. against Zach Eflin. He's batting 450. He also has one home run. Not in time as he steals second. You know, I like the aggressiveness there. They haven't cracked the scoreboard at this point, so it's clear they're trying to manufacture something by forcing the action. This ball gets down. Let's see if they try to score. And this will find the wall deep in the corner. Well, that stolen base a minute ago just became that much that more is. important. Yeah, no Matt, if the runner's on first, Rich this hit may or may not bring him home. Rich but he was on second, so he cruises across the plate for the run. It's all about finding ways to manufacture runs, and they did just that there. The batter will be Christian Pache as he rips it on the ground to second. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. And not in time as the run scores. Well, I don't know about that pick selection right there, Dero. You have a base that open with the pitcher on the deck. Pitcher. Not very Pass. good pitching right there. Three. Dan, as a guy who hit eighth in the National League a time or two, nothing's more difficult than to try and mind meld with the pitcher and come up with a game plan when you know you got the pitcher on deck. Shocking that he was coming after him right there in that big spot, and he paid the price. Pache leads off first with one away. And they elect to have the pitcher bunt with one gun as he puts this one down. Only plays to first, so the pitcher does his job as it's a successful sacrifice. The batter, number one. Now to bat, Ozzie Albies. Runner in Albies. scoring position with two guns. Albies. Try to check it, and it's 0-1. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. On 0-2 here, he doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit. He's got a base open, so he has to focus on making a good pitch right here. One ball and two strikes to count. Popped him up. Boom in foul ground. And he makes the catch to retire the side. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We'll go now to the top of the third. It's the Braves two and the Phillies nothing. 
New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring up the former National League MVP, Andrew McCutcheon. You know, these next couple innings are really important for these guys. I know they're only down by a couple, but they need to get something going on offense to keep pace, even though it's early. Pache comes in a few steps as he hauls it in for the first out. So one gone now as we give you a look at where these two teams find themselves entering play in the National League's Eastern Division race. So bases are empty with one gun, and that'll bring in a perennial MVP candidate for years to come, Reese Hoskins. Out in front of it, strike one. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. Hoskins, 28 years old. He was a fifth-round pick during the 2014 draft. Hey, when you come out of the middle round, you have to grind for everything, and that's exactly what this guy has done, and he has turned himself now into a solid right. big league ball player. Right. Outfield shaded toward right center. Here's the first pitch. Bryce Harper will stand in for the second time as he watches one miss low. It's a ball and no strikes. Hey, a two-out walk right here would be the tying run to the plate. Even though it's early on, you've got a guy on deck that has a lot of pop. And he fouls this one off. Bases are empty here with two men out. Couldn't lay off that time, and it's one and two. Just a bit low. A tough call, but it's two and two. And now pitch on the way. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. They trail it here, two to nothing. Welcome back. As the Braves look to get their bats going here in the third, and you can say they've really been trying to do that pretty much all year. Entering the day, they rank near the bottom of the league in batting average, on-base percentage, and slugging. So it's clear this is a work in progress. One player told me before the game, it's a difficult thing to go through. We're all competitive guys, and we believe in ourselves, but we're obviously not getting the results we need. Now, one coach told me that despite the numbers being what they are, he's seeing a lot of development happening, so he's optimistic about what the future holds, especially for some of their younger players. Back to you, Thank you, Heidi. Ender Inciarte stands in as he looks at ball one here. Ball one, no Fouled off. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his arms very easily. Early swing there as he pulls it foul to the right side. And that's lifted the other way out to left. Coming on is McCutcheon, but he won't get to it. And this should put a man in scoring position to start the inning. And he'll make it into third base with a leadoff triple. Wow, it looked like he was carrying a piano around the bases the on that baseman. one. But somehow he makes Freddy. it all the way around the third for Freeman. a triple. Give credit where credit is due. Nobody in the park, including me, thought he had that in him. Here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. As he'll take a look at ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Pulled toward right center field. Catch will be made here. Tagging is the runner from third. And that'll bring home run number three. It's now a 3 nothing cushion. Great job of field. offensive number execution 13. there. Lead off triple Acuna. and then the sack fly to bring Junior. home a run. Just gets a piece of it. Strike one. Time to be aggressive with these hitters now. After that sack fly, now it's time to try to get out of this inning with only one run scored. A ball and a strike. Bases are empty. One man out. One and two now as that one's fouled off. 
Now a swing and another fly ball here as things are getting busy out there in Central. And that's into the gap and should be extra bases. He hit the corner and tries for third. And he's in there at third with a one-out triple. Dan, after that base hit right there, the he's back. got a six-game hit the streak pitcher. going. You know what? And this could be this could lead him on to some, oh. some bigger and better things right here. He's been swinging the bat pretty well, and he's been rewarded for it, as you talked about. Six-game hitting streak so far. He collected a base hit his first time up. In tight with the sinker. Ball two. There's a good breaking ball as it gets the bottom of the zone. Nasty 2-0 slider right there for a strike. No shame in tipping your hat. Travis Darno with an even 2-2 two and two count now. Acuna takes his lead at third with one away. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's 3-2 and two now. No pitcher likes to take the count to 3-2, and two, especially when you throw a non-competitive pitch like that on 2-2. Two and two. That one wasn't even close. Swing and a little tapper. Another full count pitch home. He is swung on and missed strike three. Boy, there's nothing like seeing a good power pitcher that has a good fastball. And what does he do? He just throws his good fastball right by. Brings the express. No chance to put that ball in play. Austin Riley will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Hey, the way this guy on the mound's been struggling to find his own, I'm not mad at the guy taking the pitch. And a good two strike pitch, but he misses high one and two. Man, the pitcher let the guy off easy right there. That old two pitch wasn't even close. I'd rate that as a non competitive pitch. Fly ball out toward left center field. Quinn able to track it down for the third out. Braves will settle for just the one. Three innings complete. The Braves lead it three to nothing. All set for the start of the fourth. And in steps the catcher, JT Real Muto. The catcher. And now the first pitch. Real Muto. Nope. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four, five, and six right here. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball one and one. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but he's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. 1-1 one, one pitch is a sinker taken for a strike one and two. Two balls and two strikes to the Phillies catcher. Hit. Oh, it's off the third base bag. He's got it. And he will reach it first, but it's very possible that he might have had two bases there had that now ball that, not hit the bag. The third base, Alec Bone. That brings up Alec Bohm as the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one.
the set and the 1 0 pitch. And the sinker is over here, and that evens things at one. Hey, I don't mind that batter taking that strike right there. He's walked a couple people early in this game. Got to find out if he can find the zone. If he wants to walk them all in, we'll take it. The 2 1 home is a fastball down below the knees. Time to wake up the offense right here. 3 1 count, all in on something over the heart of the plate. Pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line and right. In there, a base hit. They'll hold it second, and there are two aboard now. 3-1 fastball, middle set. cut, and he didn't second miss base. it. That's the fight Same throughout ball. the course of the game to get yourself into count leverage and capitalize. Stepping in now, Cesar Hernandez. Hit high in the air down the right field line. Inciarte is over to his left as he snags this one for the first out of the inning. Couple of runners on base with one down. And up next, the infielder slash utility man, Ronald Torres. And he lays off there 1-0. Hey, this pitcher's going to have to step off the mound right here and refocus. Take a deep breath, something. Can't keep falling behind and creating traffic. It puts everybody on edge, not only himself, his defense, and especially his manager. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. Can't come out of his game plan right here. He knows he's a known sinker baller. I know it was a four-seamer right there, but get back to that two-seam. It's what his M.O. is. And the slider gets him swinging. Two gone. Up is Roman Quinn. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. First pitch coming. Here it is. Hey, it's not always about filling up the strike zone all the time every inning. He's pitching well as we're moving into the middle innings. But interestingly, less than 50% of his first pitches have been for strikes. Now the 0-2 pitch swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Acuna's there for it. And he's got it for the final out of the frame. Phillies leave a couple. They trail it here three to nothing. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the Braves' offense with their manager, Brian Snicker, during the commercial break. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. They've been able to push across three runs to this point, but they've also made the opposition work extremely hard. He's thrown a lot of pitches, and they think they're going to have a good opportunity to push across a lot more runs as he tires or as they get into that bullpen. Thank you, Heidi. Here we go for the Braves. Not shortstop. Dansby and Swanson save. is at the plate as he takes a cold strike Swanson. one. I guess the game plan from the offensive standpoint today coming into this one was they were going to work the counts. They've been super patient at the plate in the early goings of this game, and they've got the lead looking for more. So make it two hits for him in this one as he's on base here in the home fourth. And as we check out the Braves leaders in that category, you can see he currently sits number three on the roster in that department. Christian Pache is in for the second time here as he looks at one outside. It's 1-0. and That evens it up 1-1. One and one. Two and one. Great game plan so far by this offense. They're not chasing any of those breaking balls out of the zone. This is foul right side. Swanson on at first. Nobody out. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. That's just quality pitching right there for that strikeout. Some guys are real good low the ball hitters, but more often than not, keeping the ball down is going to lead to a Three. lot of success on the mound. Max Freed shows bunt on the first pitch, but he pulls it back 1-0. Oh. The 1-1 home. Great decision there to pull back. Step number one in getting a sacrifice bunt down, make sure you bunt a pitch that you can handle. But they'll just get the one out here as the runner will get back safely at first. Number one. 
second baseman. Back to the top Ozzie. of the order now. And that'll bring oh, up Ozzy Albies. Sinker runs outside to start the at bat 1 and 0. Oh. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. Three runs, seven hits, and no errors so far for Atlanta. Two balls and a strike to count. And this is foul tipped at the plate right off the arm of the catcher behind the plate. Ouch. Turned on, but it's wide at first and foul. That's lifted the other way out to left. He's under it, and that ends the inning. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. We played four full. Braves lead this one three to nothing. Welcome back to Truist Park just outside Atlanta as we send it down to check in with Heidi. Matt, I had a chance to catch up with manager Joe Girardi during the commercial break about the Phillies offense, and he told me the quality of their swings needs to improve as the game moves forward. He said they're searching for ways to drive the ball with some authority because it's just not happening for them today. They haven't gotten an extra base hit yet, so it's been a real struggle getting guys into scoring position. But the key, he said, is not to panic. Sometimes you just have to fight through the downturns and keep your focus and energy high. Off for Philadelphia. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Zach. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And that is through into center. A base hit and the opposing pitcher gets aboard to kick off the inning. Hey, this is perfect storm right here. This is how big innings start. You put a crooked number up on the board when the pitcher leads off an inning with a huge knock. Here's Andrew McCutcheon now. A ball and no strikes. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Up top, it's 2 and 0. And so now the Braves will get both a left hander and a right hander up and throwing in the bullpen. And now a called strike that time as the zone expands a bit here. It's two and one now. And this one is over and he works the count back to two and two. No runs, four hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. You know what was really impressive to me about that strikeout? He fell behind 2-0 to bat. start the at-bat. That's a pretty bad place to be, but then he kind of refocused himself and came right back with three quality pitches in a row to sit him down. That's not easy to do, but now his focus has to hone in on getting ahead on the next guy. Next to bat will be Reese Hoskins. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. The 1-0. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And this will get all the way to the wall now. The relay. But he'll be in there with a double. Everyone knows that this guy's numbers are not where he wants them to be so far this year. But you never know by that swing. He looked fluid and confident driving that pitch for a double. We'll see if that gets him going a bit. And Bryce Harper will dig in at the plate as the first pitch sinker misses to him. It's ball one. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Now before the next pitch, time is called at home plate as he'll step out. Eflin, the runner at third, Hoskins at second with one away. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. He's got a couple of pitches to deal with right here, but he's starting to lose command of his pitches. It might be time to take a step back and try to refocus and making some good pitches.
Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. And the curveball bounces here, but a good job behind the plate to keep it at arm's length. Swing and he puts a charge into this one. High and deep and you can't forget about it. This ball is gone. A three run homer here for Bryce Harper. Eighth home run on the season for him. And the Phillies have pulled even now with 3-3. Three, three. One swing of the bat, Dan, and collectively the entire team took a big sigh of relief. From pitching staff to position player-wise, they might tack on right here, but pitching staff-wise, you got to feel good taking them out with a three-run lead at least. Absolutely, and on the flip side, Dero, you do everything right, and all of a sudden, one swing of the bat, and you see that three-run lead evaporated. A big, big swing of the bat. And now, JT Real Muto. JT He'll take a look at the pitch. Too low. It's ball one. One for two in the ball game thus far. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. And he takes a cold strike, too. to two balls and two strikes now now for four innings he was great but here in the fifth he looks like a completely different guy out there that happens a lot when a pitcher is facing batters for the second or third time in a game full count three and two now the payoff pitch home lofted in the air out toward right center in Ciarte's there and that's the second out of the inning now it'll be Alec Bohm. He's two in the ball game. First pitch on its way. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. I know that fastball registered at about 92-93, but I guarantee you it looked about 4 to 5 miles an hour faster than that for this offensive player. After coming off a curveball, the old push the throttle and pull it is being used. Another multi-hit game for him here tonight. No surprise there as we take a look at the league leaders in hitting. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. At the plate, Cesar Hernandez. Now a flare out toward right center. Albies over to his left, and that retires the side. But the big blow of the inning comes right here, a three-run home run. Middle of the night here at Truist Park. We're tied now at three apiece. Ender and Ciarte will be the next to bat as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. Ender Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. 88 on a changeup? I remember when an 88 mile an hour fastball wasn't all that bad. Man, the game's changing. Behind 0 and 2 now. That's popped up. Boom. Into foul territory. And no one will get this one. Hit on the ground out to short. And there's one away. The first baseman. So next five. up will be Freddie Freeman. Freddie Freeman. First pitch on the way.
The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Popped him up. Bohm over to his right. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. The bases are empty here with two away. And that'll bring up the always dangerous Ronald Acuna Jr. That one's down around the knees, taken for a strike. And he lays off for ball one. Hits her even at seven apiece. Good slider there. Gets a swing and miss. Yeah, guys, he's got so much respect for this guy's fastball. You could tell he was out in front on that slider. I think he goes to the well one more time with that pitch. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Off a of one leg in the hole, falling away. That is pure magic. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. Tuki Toussaint please. takes over to start now the sixth Tuki inning on the mound. Number 62. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And stepping in is the veteran shortstop, Ronald Torres. First delivery to him. Now a fastball that couldn't quite find the zone. It's ball one. Hit on the ground to third. Reined in. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. The center fielder. So the next to bat will be Roman, Roman Quinn as he'll yeah. dig into the left-handed batter's box. Loves hitting left-handed off of right-handed pitchers. Hitting over 300 against right-handed pitching. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. and Yeah, we see a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen up in the bullpen. A ball and a strike. This pitcher's bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready, or he's going to throw it right by you. This is line to left, and that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. Man, I watched Chipper Jones for years, one of the best switch hitters of all time. Work on his craft yeah. under the tunnel. It's that's not right. easy to put the time in, but bottom line is one of the reasons why they do it is the ability to work the whole field. Clearly, he's been putting in that work, and it paid off right there. Into the box, Zach Eflin. And they'll try and play for one here as he gets this one down. Throw is going to go on to first, so a perfect sacrifice there is now the go ahead run moves into scoring position here. Up next to Philadelphia. So the next hitter to dig in will be Andrew McCutcheon. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. First offering on its way. High in the air out to center field. Acuna's there for it. He hauls it in, and the potential go-ahead run will not come around to score. Philly strand one onto the bottom of inning number six, tied three apiece. Bottom of the inning now, and up next, the catcher, Travis Darno. The catcher, Travis Darno. And the pitch. The windup and the 0-1. one ball, one strike. On the ground to third. He's right there. And that's out number one. So one gone now as we give you a look at where these two teams find themselves entering play in the National League's Eastern Division race. 
Here's the pitch. Austin Riley comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Boy, this guy's got it going on right now. He's executing everything. He should feel pretty good. He's retired seven in a row. Behind 0-2 now. And he goes up the ladder on him, but he lays off one and two. High fastball right there with a two-strike count. You know what that might be doing? Setting up the next pitch could be that hard slider down and away. Something breaking down and away off the plate. Swing and a miss on the breaking pitch. Two away. I think that curveball is a big no reason why he's seven. able to turn things around Shut in this stop. start after Can't a rough be. beginning. It's got some good bite to it. One so that seven. tells me he's doing a nice job of snapping it off out front. Really finishing that pitch like you're supposed to. Dansby Swanson lining up to hit as he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0-1. He's got hits in both of his at-bats so far in this one. Off-speed pitch here, but it dips below the knees, evening us at 1-1. One one. Now here's the pitch. Hit the target, but this is low, 2-1. Two and one. Well, he's had a good game at the plate so far, 2-2, two for two, but I don't think you want to work around him if you're on the mound. Pitch him smart, but you certainly don't want to give him too much credit. Three balls and a strike to the Atlanta shortstop. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Two out, nobody on. Hit on the ground out to short. Torres gloves it. Throw to first with time to spare, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Braves. Six innings are in the books. Score holds it three to three. So now here is Reese Hoskins. He hit a two bagger and later scored in his previous plate appearance. Well he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A.B. maybe once a game maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. First pitch hack in here and that's the first strike. One ball and one strike to the Phillies first baseman. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. Fouled away. The 2-2. Two -two. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. And he lays off. Ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. Man, when the game is tied, the last thing you can afford to do is walk the leadoff hitter. Got to focus on getting that ground ball now. Here's Bryce Harper now. He had that big three-run homer in his last appearance. Well, Matt, this is one of the problems. This guy's a good fastball, particularly low fastball hitter. It doesn't matter how hard or how low you throw it. That's right into this wheelhouse. What you want to do with this guy is move the ball from the belt up to get him to chase something that, that maybe he'll pop up in the infield. First pitch of the A.B. now. And this one's down off the shoe tops, 1-0. Good spot to be in right now as a hitter. Count your favor, 1-0. Good time to get a fastball and turn it loose. Has a look, now the pitch. Non-competitive pitch right there. Runs the count to 2-0, and he is ready to do some damage in the box. And it's fouled away. Go ahead, runs aboard here at first with nobody out. Harper swings and hits it very well to right. Ranging back is Inciarte, but he can't get to this one. It's off the wall. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. He's not going to complain, but he was yeah, thinking bad. what the rest of us the were thinking when that left is bad. Home run number two. Mm -hmm. Didn't quite have enough, so he has to be content with a double. Yeah. 
So now to the plate, JT Real Muto. This one's blooped out toward right center field. Albies onto the grass. He can't get to it. This one's down. The throw to the plate. Tag not in time. And they've taken the lead here in the seventh. Boy, those have to feel really good, d -Row. You get late in the game, you come up with a big RBI base hit right here to give your team the lead. Yeah, no one remembers that ground ball with eyes in the top of the second inning. You want to show up when the game is on the line. Can you quiet your emotions down, take the crowd out of it, and slow yourself down enough to come through? And that's exactly what he did. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Luke Jackson is in out of the bullpen now as he'll be inserted into the number six spot following the double switch. Johan Camargo will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Alec Bohm is next as he finds himself behind 0-1. Runners at the corners here, nobody out. There's ball one. That one looked like it could easily have gone the other way. There's a big difference between 0 and 2 and 1 and 1, but now this next pitch probably becomes the biggest of the at bat. Swung on and missed. 1 and 2 now. The offensive approach here is simple. You know the pitcher's going for the K, so set your sights middle of the plate. And then don't worry about the infielders. They're so close, hard contact is a guaranteed win. Over to Albies, but he'll put this in his pocket and be content with just the one out. Next to stand in is Cesar Hernandez. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Wheels and deals, here's the first pitch. Popped him up. Darno has a play. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. The batter. Ronald Torre is the next to bat. He's working on a one for three thus far. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. In the dirt here. The 0 1 on its way. And this one's in the dirt. Here it comes on nothing and two. And did he hold up in time? A look down, and no, he went around. It's strike three. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. It's the Phillies five and the Braves three. Last half of the seventh here, and up next will be Christian Pache. Brandon Kinsler will take over. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the first pitch coming here it is. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. Torres fields it cleanly. Throw just in time, and oh, that was awfully close. So here's Johan Camargo, lifetime against Brandon Kinsler. He's one for five. Hits the bottom of the strike zone here with the sinker. Strike one. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0-2. One out, nobody on. Too high. One and two. Snatched out of midair at first base for route number two. The batter, number one, second baseman, Ozzy. And now back to the Albies. leadoff spot in the Braves lineup. Stepping in, Ozzy Albies. Hard hit ball to second. Scooped up. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Braves are set down 1-2-3. They're still down 5-3. Ready now is Roman Quinn. He's singled in two trips to the plate thus far. The center fielder, number 24, Roman Quinn. Oh. 
Here's the first pitch to him. Camargo is over to take a look at it. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Back up the middle. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Adam Hazley steps into the on deck circle now, looking to start something here with one gone in the inning. Adam Hazley. First pitch on its way. Breaking ball below the zone. That's ball one. Lined is short, but gobbled up there, and there are two away. Now that now with the plate is Andrew McCutcheon struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. First delivery to him. There's a line drive out toward the gap in right center. McCutcheon moves well on his way to second now. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. And this might be the kind of A-B that gets him out of that slump. Smart hitting here, just going with the pitch, using the whole field instead of trying to do too much. The results speak for themselves. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. Turned on down the line. And this will get by him at third. Down the line. It's a fair ball. And that'll plate the run from second base. And the lead is three now at 6-3. Hey, Dero, that's a big right. RBI right there to stretch this lead to three. Takes a lot of pressure off your pitcher going into the bottom part of the end. Yeah, Dan, no doubt. As an offense, all you're trying to do is put your pitchers in positions to be successful. Giving them that three-run cushion has to make you feel good. Next to dig in will be Bryce Harper. Here's a shot to left field and deep. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. A two-run home run here for Bryce Harper. His second of the game as they open it up to 8-3. to three. Second home run of the game right there. He is locked in at the plate. You hear so many of today's players talk about rhythm and timing. Well, he is perfectly on time in the heart of the zone. Josh Tomlin enters the ball game out of the pen looking for the final out here in the top of inning number eight. Number 32, Josh Tomlin. Into now the box it. now, JT Real Muto, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ball game. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0 2. Three runs already home here. That misses 1 and 2. Look out. He has to back away there and then give a little glare out to the mound. It's ball two. The 2-2. Two -two. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Boy, went from being in the driver's seat to now being in some trouble. Had the count 0-2. Started nipping at the corners. And next thing you know, this count stands at 3-2. Throw on to first. Gets him and the side is retired. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. We'll go to the bottom of the eighth. It's the Phillies eight and the Braves three.
Jose Alvarado is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And digging in is the outfielder, Ender Enciarte. Down and away, one ball and no strikes. And they won't get him to chase the curveball in the dirt that time, and it's 2-0 and now. You know, sometimes it takes a pitcher a few pitches to get going, but those two pitches weren't even close. Falls behind in the count, 2-0. and It's time to start getting locked in. And this will be fouled away. Hit hard towards center, and that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So it's an inning opening base hit, and the Braves have a man on. Hey, this guy's obviously seeing the ball right now. That's the another hard hit single. Five. Three for four right Freddy. there. He's looking super solid. Freeman. Freddie Freeman stands in as he looks at a called strike. A ball and a strike now to the Braves' first baseman. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning, maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ballgame. In his career against this pitcher, just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at-bats. But gloved by the third baseman for the out. Up next for Atlanta. Stepping up is Ronald Acuna. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Pitch to the plate is a sinker for a called strike one. Grounded to the right. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. And that runner will hold up at second with two aboard now. Hey, you know what? Right there, he executed a pitch. He can't worry about where it's going. He just wants to put it on the ground right there, give his defense a chance to work, and it, it, it found a hole, period, the end. Travis Darno is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. Now a fastball here that'll wisely lay off, and it's one and two. Interesting sequence of pitches right there. A real ugly swing on a ball away, and it looks like the batter has a much better idea of what he's looking for after that second pitch. Strike three called, and now he's one out away from getting out of this. Well, I'm glad we get another look at that beauty of a pitch right there. You can't no spot a sinker in a better location because... Even if you do get the bat on the ball, there's not a whole lot you could do with that. Your textbook lead. sinker. Alex Big Jackson will brain. start to loosen up in the on-deck circle as he'll bat with Alex. two on and two out here. Jackson. Looking to wiggle out of this, here it is. And a strike called at the knees, nothing in one. And it's quickly 0-2. And he fouls this one off. Oh, and he goes the other way, and he drives it out to deep right center field. And he will get there as he had to cover a lot of ground to make that play. And that ends the inning. Two left for Atlanta. Can't make any headway into an 8-3 deficit. Tyler Matzik enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Leading off for Philadelphia, the third baseman, Alex Gold. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Alec Bohm stands in as he can't connect here. 0-1. One and one. And think about it. In game one of this series, they've already had to go deep into their bullpen. This could affect them for the rest of the weekend if they don't get really good starting pitching. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Hit in the air down the right field line. Here's another 2 2. And he lays off, so it's full now, 3 and 2. Payoff pitch home. Gets him looking up around the letters. 
And now, Cesar yeah, Hernandez. He's in his last at bat, bat, he popped Cesar. out in foul ground. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus the result was a terrible pop up foul. Somebody's going to be icing their thumbs after this game. That's a jam now sandwich, but able to mix in a knock. Ronald Correa. At the plate now, Ronald Torres popped up. Freeman might try to make a play on it, and this is going to wind up a foul ball. Here's the 0-1. Now it looks like the Braves are going to get a lefty up and throwing in their bullpen. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. Swing and a miss as he ran that in on him. A ball and two strikes. Not much he could do with that one. Tied him up in knots. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Stepping in once again is Roman Quinn. No career at bats for him against this particular arm in the past. Fastball just inside. Hernandez leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. One and one, here it comes. And a curveball's by him that time as he falls behind now one and two. Hey, if he's going to execute that curveball, and that's the first one of the day, if he's going to execute it like that, be on it. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. One left for Philadelphia, but they lead it by a count of eight to three. Now to the plate. Here is Dansby Swanson. Two for three with a double on his line so far. Dansby Swanson. Hector Neris, a six foot two inch right hander, jogs in to take over on the mound. Number 50, Hector Neris. Here's the pitch. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. 0-1 delivery. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. On the ground for Hernandez at second base. And he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. Stepping in for the Braves, Christian Pache grounded out in his last at bat. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. What a well-executed fastball right there. Down and away. If you're going to do any damage with that pitch, you have to think up the middle the other way, and you have to be diving and leaning out over that thing. And that is swung on and missed, and things are starting to look bleak here now for the home it. nine. Third there are two man. away now. Johan. Popped him up. Come, Hargo. Torres onto the grass, makes the catch, and that's the ball game. Yeah, that's what you want to do when you're playing on the road. Take it right to the home squad and get a win. Now the pressure is off. If they get one of the next two, the series is theirs. 8-3 tonight. Philadelphia jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Zach Eflin takes the win on the mound, his second of the year. So that'll do it for us. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com. Our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Philadelphia Phillies. Eight runs on 14 hits. No errors. They left nine runners on base. For Atlanta, three runs on nine hits. No errors. They left six men on base.
time of the ball game, three hours and 22 minutes. Ladies.